die. Kill assist. Greetings, fellow hooligans of the internet. Welcome back to another episode of War Thunder. Today we are playing the M3 Medium, which is a rank 1 battle rating 2.7 Russian medium tank. And it is just an M3 League. It is an American M3 Lee sold to the Russians. We, I think we've already done a video on the M3 Lee on my channel. If not, here's one. We'll be doing... Well, I'll be trying to do some more. One in the British tech tree and both of them in the American tech tree. Anyway, supporting it, we have the P40E1, another American design sold to the Russians. We have the BT7M. Which I don't think I've actually I've I've played it a bit. I I couldn't remember if I played it or not. Uh, we have the SU seventy six D, the IL two nineteen forty one, and the Gaz MM seventy two K. And so we're gonna go ahead get in a battle and we'll see how this bad boy does. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, just realized I didn't have my uh, settings correct, and so y'all couldn't hear the game. But now you can. Looks like it's this map. Not a, not, not a bad map, but I wouldn't say it's a good map. For low tier, it's perfect, actually. And they have an M4103. The light forces have captured a zone. The enemy forces have captured a zone. M22 down. I think there's another M22 up here. There is. There we go. And that is what I call a sweep and clear. Ouch. Okay, let's go ahead and face the 75 that way. Oh. Die. Oops, what is that? Got a kill assist. Airplane. P-40. There's something right in there. 
it shot its uh, dead brethren. Bro. I'm dead. Okay. Calling Artie down on the B point. Holy smokes, their whole enemy team's on B. There's no way I don't get a kill with uh, this artillery strike. Okay, is it the 75 both or just the 37 that's been. That's got a stabilizer on it. Brilliant. This is this is the M3 slowly making its way downtown. And I I know I'm going to get shot in the backside. Oh no! Okay then. So, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, winning, that round went horrible. In terms of showing the M3's capabilities, it was excellent. See. One, I think one reason why a lot of people hate the M3 is they don't use their key bindings and so they end up shooting both the big gun and the little gun at the same time. What you do is you change your key binding so you shoot the big gun and the little gun separately. And like if you have a mouse like mine, I have a, I don't remember what it's called, I'll, I'll put a pop up of what the mouse is. Anyway, in post editing. Anyway, it's got buttons, it's got two buttons on the side, so it has one, two, three, but I don't have scouting on this tank, four, five buttons, counting the binoculars. And then it's got two uh, non-programmable sensitivity buttons that can allow me to change my sensitivity on the fly. Anyway. But what that allows you to do is you can either shoot both at once, like that. Or, you can shoot them individually, thus allowing you to, like, say, trick a guy into coming out thinking you fired your gun. Maybe, like, in, for newer players, they don't, some don't realize that not only can you shoot the two guns on the M3 separately, but some players don't realize that some tanks have two guns in the first place. So you get... People are like, how did you shoot? You just shot! And it's like, I have two guns. Oh, let's, let's be about two guns. This, one of them's gonna... Having two guns is gonna come in handy really quick.
Boom. Effective. It, it is effective. Effective strategy. Anyway. As I was saying, so you get people who are new to War Thunder who don't realize that you can shoot the two guns separately, and so they get all confused and. upset because you've, you've killed them when you, you've shot f twice. Like you've shot fast, you've shot in faster succession than you should be able to. summoned upon my friends. Brilliant. Okay, there's something that just killed... Oh, hello. Up your backside. Ow. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, dang it. The one problem I have with lower tier rockets is the need to um, make a direct hit to do anything. Vengeance is mine! Some of you might be saying, North, we want to see more of the other tanks and vehicles you brought. Well, you will get that shortly, hopefully. Um, I usually, for those of you who might be newer to the video, uh, to my channel, I usually do show the footage of the original vehicle of the video, in this case the M3, and then a for the very last, sometimes the very last two matches of the video, I will show all gameplay, not just, not just that of the video, the main thing. So, another zone captured. We have the advantage. Keep 
you're telling me that M3 charge Oh no, we're gonna lose again. So, the only thing that should make it to this guy. Has his. Sorry, Hedgehog. You weren't Sonic, so I had to execute you. Only Sonic can have Hedgehog in the name. Because he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, there's that Chai Ha Long gun I killed you in the... Earlier. In the IL-2 earlier. Huh. See, I knew I had heard... ...a enemy tank over yonder earlier when I first came this route. Uh oh. Okay then. Attention to the map. Okay, it doesn't look like that guy has bombs. Attention to the designated grid zone. Dang it, the SU-76 got yeeted. Okay. I'm gonna head this way. Whoa! Okay, that 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 was my fault. Okay, let the sea but we shall see. Is that guy gonna attempt to I'll go ahead and... Oh! Oh, hello! Yeet! Another zone captured. We have the advantage. Oh, okay then. He tried to use the same trick. I only have... Okay, I need to get back to the point. I only have six ammo left for the 75. Come on, M3. Oh, hello. Hello. Did you, did you, did you forget your bomb, sir? And look, I have seven kills and only like, only one of those was with the IL-2 because I suck. I find it funny that it... 
one, uh, I'm playing against players, I suck at bombing target and missiling, uh, ground forces. But when I'm playing against NPCs, like, in air battles, like, as I was saying, in air battles, I can rectify, like, I kill ground forces, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One rocket, boom, dead. Two rocket, boom, dead. Bomb, dead. Like, I'm really good at killing NPC ground targets, but unfortunately, I'm not that good at killing ground, uh, uh ground forces players. So, yeah, I... At least not in the IL-2, like with rockets. With cannons and machine guns and bombs, ho, oh, I'm pretty decent. But with missiles and tiny bombs, it's like I suck. Big bomb? Yep. Big missile, like the tiny Tim. Yeah, not not bad. Not good, but not bad. Machine guns? Oh. I kill, I wreck Panzer IVs every time I take the P-40 out with the tw 50 cals on it. Uh, 20 mils, 30 mils, 40 mils? Yeah, not, 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 not real good, but pretty decent. Bombs? P-40, uh, I-108S. Mustangs, P-38s, Corsairs, Buffalo. Oh, ow, 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 ow. small racetrack it is. It's a little racetrack. any uh
or kill them. So that last, that last one did not exactly highlight the M3's capabilities. In fact, it less highlighted abilities and more like disabilities. As in, my disability to learn. I joke. I don't have a di learning disability. I am just stupid. Anyway. Now, see, in real life during World War II, the M3's highlights were all in the desert. Well, at least during the war. After the war, the Australians took their chassis and used them to make... SPGs, which then lasted, I think, until, I think it was either the f 50s through, I think it was 50s through 70s that those ones existed, until, before being, uh, uh, oh, what is the word, retired from service? And then, I don't remember when the last variant of Sherman left the United States, mil or any military. I think there's some militaries that still use the M4. Again. Disabilities. I didn't see him until he was about to shoot me. Anyway. As I was saying... Uh, like some Shermans still serve in modern militaries today. There's T-34s that are not just active in the military, but active in combat. T-34-85s, mostly. They're still storming T-34s in active combat today. Anyway. Meanwhile, sure, most other World War II World War II tanks are only used in supporting roles. Uh, the enemy is winning. It's like. There are a lot of other World War II things still in service, whether it just be in small time supporting gigs, or like some Russian artillery pieces that have been mounted to the back of Toyota pickups, or Russian T-34 tanks still in active service. Not just in supporting roles, but legit active combat. Where is, where is the guys that are shooting my friend? Oh, wow. Allied forces have captured Ouch. Ow! Ow!
There we go. Come on! Attention to the map! Um, okay. I'm including that just for the fun of it. Oh. There's another... Dang it! Now, I don't know where that those two teeny tiny pew pew shots came from. Oh, here. If you enjoy the content of said video, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you enjoy the content of the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.